So now we've covered uh, paragraph styles. The, the next thing you might want to know about is like, what if you want to emphasize some word inside of um, you know, a paragraph? So say you wanted to kind of all make this, you know, the number like extraordinarily impressive. And so you decide that that the number wants to be huge. You know, maybe it wants to be um, not that, but that something along the, that nature. And you're going to do this for every uh, piece. So instead of trying to remember, oh, was it 120 or 115, or you know what? What exact font did I use? What you can do is change it there once and then go to character style. And character style is exactly what it sounds like. It's just a character, which can be a word, but it's just a character inside of a paragraph style that you want to be different. So if I say, uh, label this as some kind of, this is my, um, you know, my big number. It's going to take on all those those styles that I just uh, created for it. So then I could go through and I can go, okay, that character style, attach it to each of these. Now, of course, you know, now I have to increase the size of that box. Let's make sure that I um, actually applied it to this one. I don't think I did. go and looks like I have one more ah, that's it okay so now it once again it's pretty easy if I decide that that wants to be actually 160 I can make it happen and it's changed now everywhere I've assigned it it's pretty cool so the other things that you can do is that oftentimes if you have um, several paragraphs of text or maybe even one paragraph, there may be a few words within that text that you think are uh, more important than the others. And you're kind of assuming that one a person may not kind of read the entire text. So you want to be, I think, a little bit more clear about um, other pieces within that. So. So, yeah, so let's find a word that we would like to kind of um, maximus. It sounds like a cool word. Um, let me zoom in a little bit. So then if you wanted to do, uh, emphasize that, so oftentimes I will use uh, a swatch of color, uh, perhaps a uh, bold. So say I want it to be that. Say I decide that I'm going to go bold. Um, I've even uh, increased its size. Now you have to be careful with this because I'll show you. Is that suddenly the letting uh, between lines changes? Uh, so you have to be careful with that. So if you had 11 point, what you can do is kind of uh, copy what letting it was using for 11 point. Go to 14 or say, yeah, 14. And then inside of here, just go ahead and um, paste in that letting. And so it gets it back. All right, so that would be, say, uh, a word that I would say is emphasis or highlighted, maybe is the better word. And then go ahead and apply that. So where you could go is through your text and just pull out those words that you think are the most important. And of course, this is gibberish at the moment. So you can kind of, and it could be that's a set of words. You know, so it's, you know whatever the. Um, 
floating plane. You know, and suspended structure. You know, you get phrases or something. So as somebody would glance at this, they kind of know immediately what your project's about by just kind of looking at the text and seeing what you've highlighted. This is oftentimes a very good use uh, of character style. So that pretty much is it. Uh, the beauty of it, again, is that decide later that, uh, you know, I don't want cyan. Let's just go back to this kind of magenta. It changes it everywhere, and it pops. Um, and in fact, in this case, uh, because there's so much magenta, it didn't work out. So maybe I just want to go back to black. Whoa. With highlighting. And you can do this on the fly. And the other thing you can do is, like, well, you know, say 14 point is too big, you can just kind of dial it back. And it will, you know, take it into account. Essentially, all it's doing within here is you see the only things that it's changed are the things that you changed from the paragraph style. So it changed narrow bold, it changed the size and it changed the letting. So if you go back to this, you go back to auto, uh, it'll keep basically all that now it's doing is making it bold, barely highlighting it at all. But it's that easy. And inside your entire document, everywhere that you put the highlight, it would have made that change. I'm just going to go ahead and give it this just so I know that I did something. Alright, that's it.